What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Overwatch video. Now before the release of Overwatch on the 24th of this month of May, I'm doing this mini series where we take an in-depth look at certain characters while we watch gameplay from myself and I will give you guys my personal opinion and review on them. Now we started the series with Zenyatta, which if you missed you can find that video linked in the video description. The character of today's video is no one other than Widowmaker, but before we go any further, can I ask you guys if you do enjoy the video and want to see more Overwatch here on my channel, do be sure to hit that like button as it really does help out. And if you guys are new to my channel and Overwatch is what you've come for, definitely subscribe as it's a game I plan on posting and I've got all your needs covered. Okay, so getting into the video and more on the backstory of Widowmaker. It is believed that in her former life, Widowmaker was married to Gerard Lecrux, an Overwatch agent spearheading operations against the Talon terrorist organization. After several unsuccessful attempts to eliminate Gerard, Talon decided to change its focus to his wife and Millie, aka Widowmaker. Talon operatives kidnapped her and subjected her to an intense program of neural reconditioning. They broke her will, they suppressed her personality and they reprogrammed her as a sleeper agent. She was eventually found by Overwatch agents, apparently none the worse for wear, and returned to her normal life. Two weeks later she killed Gerard in his sleep. Her mission complete, Amelie returned to Talon and they completed the process of turning her into a living person. She was given intensive training in covert arts and then her physiology was altered, drastically slowing her heart which turned her skin cold and blue and numbed her ability to experience human emotion. Amelie was gone. Now Widowmaker is Talon's most effective assassin, feeling little saved the satisfaction of a job well done. Widowmaker is the perfect assassin, a patient, ruthlessly efficient killer who shows neither emotion or remorse. So that's her backstory, let's take a look at her in-game abilities. Okay, so for her main weapon, that being her primary, is the Widow's Kiss, a rifle that charges by holding the left trigger to fire a deadly shot capable of doing 150 damage, but also shoots like an assault rifle when fired from the hip. This makes for a great close range weapon when under threat from enemies looking to eliminate you at that close range, although in this form it's not the most powerful. She also has a grapple hook. She launches a grappling hook towards any location she's aiming at. When the hook connects to a scalable surface, she's quickly drawn towards it, allowing her to expand her view of the battlefield and evade or flank targets. Her other ability is Venom Mine. Widowmaker adheres a swiftly arming Venom Mine to nearly any surface. When a target wanders within range of this mine's motion trigger, it explodes, delivering a poison gas to any enemies in the vicinity. Her special ability is Infrasight. Widow's recoil visor allows her to see the heat signatures of her targets through walls and objects for a moderate amount of time. This enhanced vision is shared with all her allies. So those are her in-game abilities. So what do I think you may be thinking? Well let me first off say, before I play any game, especially first person shooters, I always look towards the snipers as my go to characters. It wasn't any different with this game Overwatch, Widowmaker was the character I first chose and although at first I wasn't doing that great, I just knew she would end up being a favourite of mine as soon as I figured out the game a little further and in that it happened, she quickly became my favourite character. Now I said this on my last Overwatch video, that this game truly has a character for every playstyle and with that I feel this fact doesn't really help Widowmaker's case, as some characters are really easy to eliminate, others are way more difficult. Also with the beta we only had a few maps and a few game modes. This in my opinion also did not help Widowmaker's case in becoming a fan favourite, although I would say I am a better sniper than Russia, a better sniper than I am a healer, but on most of these game modes and maps I felt I could do miles better with certain characters I preferred not to use. Which yes for sure makes one reach out and try other characters, but most of the time I don't want to. I feel other characters such as Bastion, Tracer, Soldier 76 could do well on all maps against all opponents, but this certainly is not the case for Widowmaker, in my opinion anyway. Now it's common sense that she is a long range defence character, and it's what she should be used for. 
but I do feel from what we got from the beta, she's slightly at a disadvantage more time than most. I feel her poison trap needs a major buff, as a few times I've played against Widowmaker and her poison trap was easily avoided, making it really easy to sneak up on her and land an easy kill. This happened in my case too, a lot of the time I thought that Venom Mine had my flank, but before I knew I was dead. And also in my opinion her grapple hook needs a slightly quicker cooldown. Some may argue against these points which is fine, just for me though, as a character who has little health and does not have any way of healing herself, having a weapon that only does a max of 150 damage, which if you charge and also has a cooldown, and really doesn't have any other weapon at her disposal, I think a slight buff to either her or her abilities in some minor way may be introduced. But even if it don't, she will still remain the one character I always look to use first, no matter the map or game mode, as sniping is what I like and enjoy to do. Her being slightly underwhelming for many to use adds to the fun and reward of using her in my opinion. I've had many discussions with people about her, some saying she is too weak for what she is, while others say if used right she could be deadly. With both I agree, targets at range can be eliminated with one shot if accurate, but some other targets require more than a single shot, and they have the advantage of getting away and flanking you or at least they learn your position as she really is the type of character to find a position in a map and sit there until you die unless you're pushing forward either way though i absolutely loved using her in the beta easily my favorite character besides zenyatta and for sure is a character i damn sure look forward to using the full game's release now following the gameplay you'll see all her unlocks in terms of costumes if you haven't seen them already and some look absolutely sick. Now coming towards an end of the video but before we do end tell me guys did you use Widowmaker in the beta? If so what did you think of her? Let me know down below. Also guys if you enjoyed the video do leave a like as it really helps out. Thanks for stopping by as always and I'll catch you guys on that next one. Peace out until next time. Peace! Get it right.